Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to another episode. This is not... Uh, a double up, but it kind of is, in that this is a regular episode, but we're playing the same decks. Uh, today, a single up, twice, a single up, up yeah, two single two ups. Two single ups, please. <laughs> Stacked on top of each other. Uh, yes, yeah, so... It's, it's four cents cheaper. <laughs> as of, uh, I guess, yeah, not last week, but the week before, yeah. uh, we were playing the same decks. I am going first again. Don't comment about it at all. Uh, I'm just very, very good at rolling dice. It's actually obscene. Yeah, we I, already commented about it. <laughs> um, I am playing Grenzo Dungeon Warden. It's a doomsday deck where you build the piles upside down. I'm hoping to do similar things to the things I did the last time. James, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Underworld Breach. KCI. Bosch, Iron Golem. As the outlet for these combos is what I'm playing today. It's Mono Red Artifacts. Uh, real low curve and uh, Bosch as the command. <laughs> real low Bosch. curve, except for your eight mana Bosch. artifact creature Bosch. golem legend. Bosch. Yeah, <laughs> artifact creature golem legend is nice, yeah. right? Bosch. Yeah, Jenna, what are you playing? <laughs> oh, hello. I am playing Corvold Food Chain, which I don't play that often. Food Chain decks at all. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, <laughs> I've played this twice in this season, which is two times more often than I've played it before. <laughs> nice. So, food chain. Going on three. Three, Ooh, three mm. times as many. Got Very there. nice. Elliot, your turn. Uh, Kess, <laughs> Dissident <laughs> Mage. Elliot, <laughs> Kess, Dissident Mage. <laughs> Bosch, Grenzo, Dungeon. Okay. Um, yep, same deck. Kess, Dissident Mage. It's trying to be dramatic and people are just giving me the cameras for busting my chops. People, <laughs> Elliot. Uh, shout out to Wedge again. I didn't do him justice last time, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I kick Bill's ass this time. We'll see. I'm hoping. Yeah. I want to become the king of the pirates, so. Oh God. Shaman King. That's no. a different one. I'm gonna draw a card. We're Is gonna this start our this new best out. intro. Bangerang Elliot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Verdant Catacombs as my first land, and I'm going to crack it, going to 39. I'm gonna get this Badlands, and I'm gonna tap it for a black and cast a Blood Pet. Oh, he is gross. very ugly. Wow. Please don't comment. <laughs> don't talk yes. about my son like that. <laughs> I see the resemblance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to play this Buried Ruin Ooh. Ooh. and also cast an Urza's Bobble nice. and also cast a Lion's Eye Diamond nice. and also cast a Soul Ring. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm Jim. Cool. I have an artifact deck. I'm uh, gonna... cool. no, yeah. Are you going to attack me with this Lion's Eye Diamond? Oh yeah. Tap it. <laughs> Why would I tap it? <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'm going to draw this card. Oh boy. I want to play this Marsh Flats, and I'm going to crack it going to 39. I'm going to get this Bayou, and then Big Brain Out of Order play uh, Carpool Flowers. Oh. And uh, then... Well, you're going to mental misstep this? Yeah. Oh. That's a good play. That's, you didn't mental misstep soul the Soul Ring? ring? Nah. Uh, you didn't misstep this Blood Pet? <laughs> No, uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, dope. Well, faster. I'm at 38. Mm-hmm. Yeah, draw. Elliot yeah, yeah. doesn't play islands anyway. True. I'm gonna play this island. Uh, I'm gonna play this island. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play this Mox Diamond. Uh, I'm going to discard this Bloodstained Mire. Mm. And I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Draw. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna play this Prismatic Vista. Mm. And I'm going to pay a life and crack it and go to 38. I'm going to find me a swamp. Mm. Uh, I'm going to tap this Badlands and the swamp. Cast Grenzo. For a Felwar Stone. Mm. I'm going to tap the Felwar Stone for a blue and cast this Chromatic Star. 
I'm Are going to step now? move to combat and attack Jan for one with this ugly boy. Oh, wow. Jan. 38. 38. Uh, pass. Uh, I guess I should have done this earlier, probably, but I'm going to sacrifice this versus bobble. Oh, what are you looking at? Um, what does it do? It's like it you choose at, a player choose a and they random random choose from their hand. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I get to look at it, and then it's a delayed cantrip. Funny. I've got four cards in my hand. I, I have also have four cards. Six. I want to see a card out of Jan's hand. I feel Ooh. like I'm getting picked on a lot for not having done well last game. Yeah. I just want to see what's in your hand. That's fair. Ooh, this card. <laughs> <laughs> all you, hard? all y'all at home. Oh yeah. Okay. So I will untap. Mm -hmm. In my upkeep, I'll draw a card, mm -hmm. and then in my draw step, I would like to draw another card. What? He's drawn yeah, that works. Judge? Yeah, it's all works. Shit. Should have mentally <laughs> stepped it. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it wasn't the case, but... <laughs> Say it ain't so. Hmm. I'm going to cast this... Uh-oh. Uh, Are we dead? Is it Mana Crypt? Is it Bosch? Do you just have a 6-7? I think we'd be pretty, like... I'm going to cast a Chromox. Ooh. What would you like to imprint? I'm going to imprint <laughs> Trash for Treasure. Oh, Ooh. I like that card. Me too. I'll just exile that. Yeah, taps for red. Fair. Too bad it's gone. Does, this is easy to remember. Does yeah. taps for red. Yeah. I don't think there's a way you can make it not tap for red. <laughs> True. Yeah. Mm, yeah, actually. Because if you exile a colorless card, it just taps for nothing. True. Now I'm going to cast Imperial Recruiter. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Jan, any effects? Nope. Bill. Mm. No, I lied. <laughs> I'm after you. I'm next. What yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> me. That's me. me. I'm, I'm I'm Bill. I have no effects to Imperial Recruiter. Yep. I'm going to get this Dockside Extortionist to my hand. Oh. You should crack your line side. I'm going to cast and it. And I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> That's um, crazy. I'll draw this card right here. I'm going to play my own Badlands. Whoa. And I'm going to cast a Sylvan Library. Oh. Counter spells, Elliot. How many cards are in your graveyard? Two. <gasps> I'm gonna drown in the lock. Sylvan <laughs> Library. Jan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Jan gets nothing. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna untap. Uh, Run for Gretchen Wieners. Yeah. In my upkeep, I'm going to cast this Vampire Tutor. Oh no. Phil? No, nothing. Yep, nothing yeah. for me. I'm going to put this card on top of my library with this Vampiric Tutor in my uh, upkeep mm -hmm. and go to 36. Then I'm going to go to my draw step and I'm going to draw this card and I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb and I'm going to add two mana with this Ancient Tomb. This seems like a windfall. Going to 34. Or a Time Twister. And I'm going to yeah. cast a Windfall. Mm. No. No effects. Um, did I just sack this line that I made? <laughs> Maybe. Wheel into a shimmer mirror. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. Uh, didn't think of that, did you? Did not. That's a good thing because I don't run shimmer mirror in this list. Perfect. It would not have been worthwhile to think about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to pass priority. Jen, what do you got? Uh, I don't know. Something Elliot's going to counter. So pass. <laughs> cool. I have one card in hand. Okay. I'm discarding it. It is Thassa's Oracle. Five. I'm discarding Priest of Gix, Dismember, De Demonic Tutor, Rite of Flame. Memory Jar, Pyroblast, Quicksmith Genius, and Dockside Extortionist. I was like salivating on this Dockside uh, oh, Quicksmith interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Blood Crypt, Mana Confluence, Vampiric Tutor, Goblin Bombardment, Dockside Extortionist. So it's uh, five cards? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have five cards in my hand. I will pass the turn. That's that's crazy. Isn't man. that sad? <laughs> that's that's crazy and wild. And also I'll draw a card. Wild and crazy. <clears throat> Gravy. Um, I'm going to tap the swamp. And no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tap this bad lands, I think. Which sure of these do I want to do? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to tap the Badlands. I'm going to cast Gamble. Perhaps. Oh, Gambler. Mm. Fast Yep. No effects. Okay. 
Okay, uh, so I've got the one card that I tutored for off of Gamble in my hand. I have six cards in my hand. Uh, somebody please roll a d6. I got you. I cool. got it already. He's got it already. One, so, six. Yeah, one, six. Four. Four. DC is Shumble. four. Hiya! Cool. Rakdos Charm. Rakdos Charm down. That would have won. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have killed the last if you time. you had cast it and chosen the <laughs> mode that was least beneficial for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... Which of these do I want to do? I'm actually kind of happy about that. Rakdos Charm is really good against my deck. Mm. <laughs> mm. It destroys artifacts and exiles graveyards. Yeah. Or, it's I very suppose, good. or exiles graveyards. I'm going to tap yeah. this chromatic, or uh, this Felwar Stone, sorry. I was looking at that. Uh, for a mana of a color that doesn't matter, and then the Swamp for a black, and I'm going to cast Arcane Signet. Why did you put your Swamp all the way over there? Because they match. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... Which of these things do I want to do? None of them. Uh, Elliot, attack you for one. Rude. Shut up. 33. Pay it. Untap. Draw a card. I'm going to play a snow covered mountain. I'd like to cast this Mox Opal. Mm hmm. Then I'm going to cast a treasonous ogre. Uh oh. Huh. It's a pretty good one. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, that's pretty bad for us. That's fine. I have no. Good, 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 good. Yes, yeah, sir. No effects. So I'm going to tap my mox opal for a red. Tap the buried ruin for a colorless. And. Pay nine life to add three mana to my mana pool. Alrighty. 31. Go to 31. Uh, I'm going to pay three more life to go to 28. <laughs> that seemed unnecessary. So I've got four <laughs> red mana pool. Yeah. I'm going to pay three <laughs> I'll spend one of it to cast this Conjurer's Bobble. Mm -hmm. So you have three floating, not one. Three yeah. floating. <laughs> yeah. Conjurer's Bobble. Then I'm going to. Uh, sorry, I guess I had more floating. But yeah, it, so this is five. To yeah. cast Reforge the Soul. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm holding priority, by the way, and I'm oh. going to crack Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes, sir. For, For sure. red. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, so you discard your hand? Yes. Discard a mountain. Okay. Uh, I have no effects. Yeah, also no effects. Okay. So I have three red floating. We're reforging our yep. souls. Okay. Uh, I'm going to discard a Gemstone Caverns, an Emergent Zone, a Boreal Druid, a Fire Covenant, and a Deflecting Swamp. Uh, I am discarding Arcane Signet, Talisman of Creativity, Dimir Signet, Plunge into Darkness, By Force. Oh, uh, By Force would have been very Discarding good. Murderous Red Cap, Doomsday, Pyroclasm, Dark Ritual. Okay, I'm going to pay 12 life, going to 16. Uh huh. To cast a Mystic Forge. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Didn't you have three mana floating? No, I did. I still oh, have yeah, three mana. Yeah, you okay. Three. Good. I have no effects. Yeah, good. 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 Yeah, good. Um, okay, I would like to look at the top card of my library. You can do that at any time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay two red to cast Thrill of Possibility, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. discarding a mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm going to draw two. I'd like to look at the top card of my library. Uh, you have to. No, nope. you did it right. Yeah, it's not loading. <laughs> no, um, I'm going to uh, pay one red to cast Mana Vault. Oof. Look at the top card of my library. I like this one more than uh, Circu because uh, it's just you looking at the top, <laughs> not Future Sight, where I have to put a little version of the card that's on top of your library. Yeah. I don't really know what my plan is here. Got a lot of mana. You got a lot of stuff in play currently. Mm -hmm. Got a treasonous ogre. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pay three life off the treasonous ogre to add one red, going to thirteen. Thirteen. Then I'm gonna add three colorless. So I have one red, three colorless. I'm gonna spend by one red and two of those colorless to cast Goblin Matron. Ooh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So off of the Goblin Matron. I'm going to get Goblin Engineer to my hand. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll look at the top card of my library. Hmm. Hmm. Card is bad. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to uh, pay a colorless and go down to 10 Gosh. Yep. Uh, to cast this Goblin Engineer. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. Um, ETB trigger. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get this uh, Scrap Trawler and put it in my graveyard. Okay. Then mm-hmm. I'll look at the top card of my library. Wow, that's crazy. Anytime? It is pretty good. Am I right? Gamers? Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> um I guess I'll pay three life and go, to go down to seven oh, wow. uh, to cast a faithless looting. Yep. So I'll draw two. And discard a snow-covered mountain and Chandra Torch of Defiance. Mm-hmm. Then look at the top card of my library. Whoa. Again. Um, I'm so glad people don't have creatures in play right now. Mm. I have a blood pet. Yeah. I'll I have try. a blood pet. I <laughs> <laughs> gotta be like that. <laughs> ah, yeah, you know. That's your son. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to um, crack my conjurer's bobble. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put Dockside Extortionist. Mm. On the bottom of my library. Ooh. I should have done that before. Did all your shuffling? Uh, no, the uh, goblin nature. Oh, before yeah. Before the goblin nature, <laughs> it would have been smart. Yeah. But I will draw a card off of the conjurer's bobble and then look at the top card of my library. Ooh, is this good? I don't have enough life to cast that. <laughs> um, let's leave it on top. Well, you don't have an option to get rid of it. <laughs> Well, you, you might. Can, sure yeah, do. He can tap Mystic Forge. I'm going to pass the turn. That cool. was a turn. I'm going to untap. James has a lot of permanence in play now. Mm. Well, well, James is going to reanimate his Dockside Extortionist and make a million. Uh, that would be amazing. That would be incredible. But instead, how about I cast a Bloom Tender? Hmm. Mm. Bloomy, bloomy, ten tens. Uh, and then pass the turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I'm going to untap. <laughs> I'm going to draw for my turn. Ooh. I'm going to play this Marsh Flats. And I'm going to crack it. Going to 32. I'm going to get this Underground Sea. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to tap it for a black and cast Reanimate. Uh, I would like to target Jan's Dockside Extortionist. Bill, mm. Birdie. Net. No, thank you. I would like your Dockside Extortionist. And I'm, I'm going to go to I'm aware. 30 life. <laughs> this seems bad. Uh, Dockside Extortionist, ETB, trigger. Mm. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make eight treasures. Mm-hmm. Curses. No, oh, they're treasures, not curses. Oh, true. Uh, I'm going to use four of them. And I'm going to cast Kess. Dissident, Dissident Mage? Mage. Elliot. Kess, Dissident Mage. <laughs> Bosh. Nope. nope. Yeah. Alrighty, I have a Kess Dissident Mage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to, with my Kess Dissident Mage, hmm. uh, sacrifice these four treasures. Uh, for four red mana, uh, make it five, six uh, total mana, hmm. uh, and cast a by force for X equals five. Choose targets. I would like to choose the targets. Arcane Signet, uh, Bill's Arcane Signet. I don't know if you have one, yeah, I guess. It's just um, James's Mystic Forge, Soul Ring, Chrome Mox, and Mox Opal. <laughs> Uh, I guess in response, I'm going to tap this uh, arcane signet for a red. Okay, mm-hmm. I would like to while while Bill is tapping his mana for <laughs> mana, I'm gonna look at the top card of my library. Oh, he can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, just so that uh, just in case you missed it, I also do have a fellwar stone. Yep. Okay, just making sure. 
Um, I'm also going to go to 28 hmm. off of the Ancient Tomb. Hmm. I'm going to activate the Mystic Forge in response. Okay. Paying life. Going down to six. And uh, exiling this seeding song. Ooh. Mm. Yep. And then I would like to look at the top card of my library. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, I have no further responses, Jen. You got it. Cool. Poof. I have a red mana still floating. Uh, this is exiled. I'm glad to. Now I have five, six life, and no mana. Yeah. <laughs> um, take your pick. No. <laughs> no thing. Action mana. Uh, I would like Don't to move to live. combat, Bill. Uh, I'm going to use the red mana that I have to cast Pyroblast to destroy target permanent if it's blue. You could have uh-huh. countered it. I could have, but he had enough treasures uh-huh. to just recast it. Uh-huh. So. Um. Hmm. That's sad because I wanted to do this other thing instead. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to dispel yeah. the pyroblast. You got it. Uh, I will just pass my turn then. Okay. Haha. Action. That's true. Uh, I will draw a card. What is this card? Um. I'm going to, I guess, just play this command tower. I'm going to tap the swamp to cast Soul Ring. And then I guess I'll tap command tower, badlands, and Soul Ring for four total and cast Grenzo X equals two. Yep. Grenzo Hard X pass. equals two. Yep, no effects. Mm, uh, then I'm going to... Yeah, I guess I should probably keep that up. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay. Okay, I'll untap. Uh, I'm going to take one off the mana ball, go to five. Draw this card, which I already know what it is. I'm going to play a, oh, this is so awkward. I think we got to do it though. We use our only red mana here to cycle Forgotten Cave. Oof. Okay. Um, Bad. (laughs) 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 Um, Bad. What are we even doing here? What am I doing with my life? Um, I think I'm going to play this ancient tomb. Oh, golly. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game there, Jim. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the old, the old graveyard here. What's that? Nothing good. It's a lot of cards, though. It is a lot of cards. It certainly is a lot of cards. It's a lot of cards. Let's see if I can cast Bosch this turn. Hmm. Give me a hint. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to give it the old college try. Mm. One, mm. two, three. I can make one more mana. Are you at five? I'm at five. You cannot make, activate both. Three I can. One. Why can I not do it? Because one costs three it's life one. and the other costs two life, and you're at oh. five. Okay, you can do I it. can absolutely right. do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's yes. allowed. Yeah. It's allowed. Uh, my, my apologies. Hmm. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to tap the Ancient Tomb for two mana, uh, going to three. three. And I'm going to cast Golden Egg, uh, ETB Drucker. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For those of you keeping track at home, it is Car Clan Ironworks. Oh, uh, oh. would have come in handy uh, last turn. Yep. But um, I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I'm going to cast into. Oh. Mm. No fix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to put a Squee the Immortal into my graveyard. Mm hmm. 
Squee, and Goblin, and Bob. Untap these lands. Draw this card. Ooh. That's a card. If this is Food Chain, we're dead. That's kind of cool. Arid Mesa. I will crack the Arid Mesa and I will go to 37. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a Stomping Ground untap. Paying two life. Going to 35. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Jan that. is uh, dead on board. Okay. I'm dead on board. Mm, true. I should just concede. Yes. Uh, I want to have the blue tender for a green. And uh, some other colors and cast food chain. You got it. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So I am then going to exile Bloom Tender to food chain for three red. Yep. And use the three red to cast Squee the Immortal. Mm -hmm. oh, that's so clean. <laughs> yep. Uh, then I'm going to exile Squee the Immortal a billion times mm. to have all of the mana I need. Uh, cast it a billion and one time. <laughs> Then cast Corvold. Uh, Corvold ETBs trigger Sacrificing Squeaky. Draw cards now. Mm -hmm. um, then I will uh, exile Corvold Food Chain, spend mana to cast Squee, and repeat this process to essentially draw my deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I will draw all of these cards, all of the cards I need. Uh, so I will cast uh, Mayhem Devil, mm -hmm. uh, and I will cast an Eternal Witness. And the Eternal Witness will get my Goblin Bombardment back from my graveyard into my hand. Uh, and then, with my two remaining mana, cast Goblin Bombardment. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess. Uh, so I will just cast and sack Squee and actually deal well, two damage. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I'm going to sacrifice Blood Pet and tap this Felwar Stone to activate Grenzo. Mm. Oh. Zealous Conscript. Goes to my graveyard. <laughs> Zealous Conscript would be like, Zealous Conscript would be like <laughs> real um, bad. Okay, for me. well, in the spirit of doing what we can, I'm yep. going to um, activate my golden egg. No, yeah, activate my golden egg to make a red. Mm -hmm. And then activate Goblin Engineer, sacrificing my mana vault. <gasps> uh, I would like to get back my Conjurer's Bobble. <laughs> Uh, then crack the Conjurer's Bauble to put uh, Chandra back in my deck, just in case. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes sense. Put her on the bottom, draw Put her card. on the bottom. Draw a card. Here we go. Part of the cards here. I believe. Draw a card. It's a snow-covered mountain. <laughs> uh, so I would like to pay three life into Treasonous Ogre to make one red and die. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm not doing about that. Yep. Yep. It's a mana ability. Yeah. <laughs> I have no. Effects. Yeah. Nobody can. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah, uh, we're dead. We are dead. Oh. Oh, oh. I yeah. for a second I had a panic moment because when James was able to put the Conjurer's Bobble back into play, I was like, oh my god, he could have just bottomed this Goblin bombardment out of Jan's graveyard, but he has the ability to draw the rest of his deck anyway, yeah. so it doesn't matter. <laughs> also, there's a Noxious Revival in there too. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. So. If I hadn't dispelled the. Uh, Pyroblast, I had um, Pyroclasm, which oh. would have killed the Bloom Tender. Yeah. yeah. I would have been sad about that. Mm. Jeez, even with Jan just getting <laughs> that game just twice. Kicked in the face. The yes. carpet and the Sylvan counters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, still yeah. clawed back to one. He didn't even need them. Yeah. I was like pretty dead on board even before this by force. So like yeah. Well, no, it's like, yeah. No. <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> Unless my top deck rip was going to be Aetherfleck Reservoir, that was like my only out. Mm. And even then, I don't think I could have made enough mana after the buy force. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Like, I needed that Aetherfleck Reservoir. The problem is, I had uh, grabbed the Goblin Engineer instead of Goblin Welder. And um, the, like, 3 CMC requirement really, really boned me on that one. Mm -hmm. Like, um, what I wanted to get was like KCI or I wanted to get um, Eve Flex Reservoir or whatever, right? But Goblin Engineer couldn't put either of them back into play. Mm. And I realized while somebody was tutoring that I could have grabbed that. Because if I if I had known that I was going to get to untap again, I could have just grabbed the Goblin Welder and welded in my memory jar into play. Mm -hmm. And then crack the memory jar, at least dig a little bit deeper. But um, yeah, I figured, well, you know what? I've got the Mystic Forge in play. Maybe we dig a little bit deeper and end up with the um, other half of the combo, and right. maybe KCI. I, I don't know. 
Yeah. 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 That's fair. My yeah, uh, my opener was a little awkward, but it got this early windfall, uh, and then I windfalled into three rocks and two spells and somebody else, James, uh, you reforged. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't. Uh, I, yeah, I had Pyroclasm, Toxic Deluge, and Cursed Totem, and two lands in my hand at mm. the end of the game there. Mm. Because I dispelled the Pyroblast. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, I uh, I drew I drew the food chain off of the Reforge the Soul. Mm. Um, mm. And I was like... That happens. If that got countered, then I guess I had like a Renin 6 and just keep doing modest things until... <laughs> you could have pinged my blood pet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Killed this Imperial recruiter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So good. Jan pulling out the win with his uh, second or third game with Quad yeah. ever. Third um, time's a charm. 33% yeah. win rate. That's pretty high. Yeah. Oh, that's very high. You heard it here first. You heard yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, All we'll right. catch you a uh, week after next. Yeah. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. And you can click this link to check out our other great videos.